Welcome. I'm Scott Dozer, Program Coordinator at the Wilkinson Public Library, and this is the 45th edition of Books and Cooks. Yay! <laughs> I am so pleased uh, to have Chef Jeff Mertens with us today Yay! from Smugglers. <laughs> and I have to make a comment. Uh, I, the last, uh, Jeff took over at Smugglers, what, about two December months ago? 7th, yeah. December 7th, okay. So it hasn't been that long. But uh, this is, this is a, uh, an instance where uh, the food at Smugglers has just jumped up several notches. I've been over there at least twice a week ever since you took yep. it over, and it had some incredible meals. So if you have not eaten at Smugglers lately, I suggest you go over there because it's a whole new menu and it's a whole new experience. Uh, and finally, the food, I, I told this to, uh, to your brewmaster the other day. Finally, the food has stepped up to uh, to meet the excellent beer over there. Oh, absolutely, so yeah. Glad to have you. And also, um, if you are a member of Friends of the Library, uh, Smugglers has just joined our list of discounts. So with a Friends of the Library card, you can get a 10% discount at Smugglers. On food. Yeah, on yes. food. Anytime. At any time. So I, if, and if you're not a friend of the library, this is a great opportunity. You can see Nancy sometime today and get signed up. And uh, Jeff, today we're going to be doing backcountry potato skins. That's correct. And farmer's pie. Quickly becoming two of our favorites over at Smugglers on awesome. the new menu. I'm going to let you take it away. Okay, thank you. First one up we're going to do is our backcountry skins. This is our little twist on the classic potato skin and basically it starts with your crispy potato boats right here and instead of just bacon and cheese like most places do we load it up with our homemade chili that's what I'm going to do right so that's now, what I'm gonna do right just, now. Fill just fill in a few of these for you guys see what so we can see what happens and this we make and this we make fresh a couple times, fresh a, week, a, couple depending times a week depending on how quickly we sell out of it which happens a lot which happens a lot weekend. it happened this weekend so homie made a batch, so this, homie made a batch this morning, and basically we just load up the skins with the chili, with the chili, and then we load them up and with everything, them up everything, else, with everything else that you skins. love on your potato skins. So I have, so I have crispy bacon, crispy bacon, everyone's favorite, everyone's favorite. Oh yes, oh yes. We don't, we don't, we don't, we don't skimp on the portions over there at all. We know when you're coming off the slopes that you're going to want a hearty meal. And we load it up with our cheese. And are these bacon potatoes? These are actually what we call potato boats, but you could use your baked potato leftovers, just hollow them out. That's basically all it is, is the skin and a little bit of the flesh, and then a cavity to fill up with goodness. Take some of these, put them right on our plate, and then right the cheese is grated cheddar and pep, uh, Monterey Jack. Now is this the regular chili that you make over there? This is our chili that we serve every day, loaded up with sour cream and onions and cheese. And I'll get these right in my little melted. And that's all it is to it. Quick, simple, fill you up, get you back on the slopes in a hurry. Then if you want to stay for our, one of our favorite entrees, it is called farmer's pie. It's basically a shepherd's pie, except completely vegetarian. So I have a mix of yellow squash, green zucchini, roasted red peppers, onions, mushrooms, and, and uh, sauteed, uh, sauteed green, green, and, yellow green and yellow peppers. We take that, we get it, we nice, take and that, we get it nice and warm. And then we have, and then we have this, is our homemade, this is our homemade, we use it on the warm spinach salad, it's a sherry Dijon cream sauce, basically it's sherry wine basically that we cook down, we cook with, down some mustard, with some Dijon mustard, some oregano, mustard, and, some oregano black pepper, and black pepper, and then, and then heavy cream. So we'll just take that, lay it right over the top, get it nice and coated in the goodness. And then again, and then again, I just load it onto, one of, my load it onto one of my big plates. I've got some homemade mashed potatoes that I brought over from the restaurant. Fortunately, I'm right around the corner from the library here, so I was able to 
bring a few things with me. Now you could really use any vegetables that you, any have, vegetables that you have laying around for the mix. It's not important whatever your favorites, important, are. Whatever your favorites are. You just want to make sure that they're all cooked sure evenly, that they're all cooked evenly because, because the last stage here, the last stage here again is going to be in the cheese melter. And that is our beautiful creamy mashed potatoes that we make every day. And just load those on top. You know about this one, Scott, you know don't you? That's one serving. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is not one serving. This is not one serving. One serving at the restaurant is a little bit smaller. I'm doing a big one for, for the group here today. I've got a couple more over there that we can all share. And uh, my cheese melter that I brought with me is a little bit smaller than the one I have over there. So I'm going low and I'm wide. I'm going low and wide rather than big and high like we, big do, at and high like we do at the restaurant. Get our potato skins Get our potato out, potato skins out. See, and as you can see, beautifully melted, beautifully melted, nice and crispy, nice and crispy. You smell that bacon. You smell that bacon, and then just get a little bit of green onion. Get a little bit of green onion, and and you're ready to sell. You're ready to sell. We'll take the farmer's we'll take pie. Take the farmer's pie into the melter, and let the cheese on that get a little bit. Yep. Come on. There you go. And that'll be ready in a few minutes. So, and when you took those vegetables, did you yeah. you did those in the, in the saucepan, or did you did you steam those in? The well, actually, the zucchini and the squash we marinate and then we grill to give it a little bit of a charred flavor. The roasted red peppers, obviously, roasted ahead of time, and then the mushrooms and the onions we have sautéed off for our Philly cheesesteak. So we. Oh, so you just mix them all together. We mix them all together, yeah, we get them all in there. And it's the same sort of mix that comes on the portobello sandwich that one of our guests here loves so much. <laughs> the same mix, squash, zucchini, sautéed onions, and roasted red peppers. That also gets provolone cheese and obviously a portobello, a grilled portobello mushroom. But that's pretty much all there is how, to it. How long, how long have you been cooking? I've been doing this my whole life. Yeah. I started cooking right out of high school, and I've been in kitchens my whole life. So, yeah. okay. there are any questions? So you remade the menu. We have completely redone the menu. It's not. We didn't reinvent the wheel. We kept burgers. We kept ribs. We kept the gyro that everyone loves. We just stepped it up a little bit. Got better ingredients. Got fresher ingredients. Started making everything. A lot better you know just put a little bit of love into everything it's still smugglers brew pub it's still potato skins and french fries and chicken wings and everything you love it's just a little bit a little bit better yeah i had the trout over there the other day that came out really nice was that, that was the so ruby red trout yeah yes Flaky and that's big. local fish from the rocky mountains we love that up here yeah you get yeah. you get it I, can you order that we order that from, caught? it's not wild caught, it's farm raised it's farm in, in Idaho, okay. yeah. But it's Rocky Mountain fish, it's, you know, it's what we have up here. We like to use local ingredients. Yeah. Okay. Can you describe in a little more detail how you make that sherry sauce? The sherry cream sauce? Absolutely. We saute onions down with some garlic and then a whole bottle of sherry wine. Let that reduce down what they call a sec, which means almost dry. How long Depending on the size of your pot and how hot your stove is, it's going to vary, but... Is that a dry or a cream sherry? A dry sherry. And then Dijon mustard, oregano, and black pepper go in to season it, and heavy cream, and then we reduce it down. You can see how thick it is. It's a nice reduction of heavy cream. And we do the same thing on our spinach salad. We saute mushrooms and bacon and a little sherry vinegar, and then some of our cream sauce goes on the warm spinach salad. Are we ready to eat? <laughs> yes. Um, I've been there several times, and I always have your mandarin uh, salmon salad, which has improved greatly. Well, thank you. Have you thought of making any kale dishes or anything since you know, kale is so hot? Uh, yeah, well, I like to use kale sauteed kale with as a side dish with some of my specials. I don't really have a place for it on the menu, but it definitely will appear over there on our special list. Especially if you ask for it, I'll, I'll be more than happy to put it out there for you. Sure. Anything else? Let's see if this is melted and ready. Oh, yeah. 
so nice. And again, just a little bit of green onion for color. So we love the color. And we're all set. And we're all set. Potato skins. Potato skins. And farmer's pie. That's going to be really hot. So you're going to have to cut some of those and take some of those? Uh, I've actually got a whole bunch of them coming up from the restaurant right now for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. We're all set. Um, we're, we're all set. set. We're yeah, all yeah. set. Yep. We have plates, dice forks, and napkins here. Let's make a line. We'll These are two more there. that I have Can already. The no, they're all they, they should oh, be hot wow. and ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, we're <laughs> 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 Thank you.